Welcome back to another episode of Moto GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about Trackhouse Racing's launch that happened this weekend. So, Trackhouse Racing launched their bikes. It was a little bit weird in the whole launching of things. You know, Trackhouse Racing launched in the middle of the night in Los Angeles. Um, and then MotoGP on the Saturday then did a presentation, just doing a recap of it. I get it, just a little bit weird. Looking at the bikes, realistically, the red, white, and blue does look very cool and definitely pays homage to Nicky Hayden, which I don't think a lot of people would begrudge. But looking at the level of sponsorship on the bike, you know, this kind of has me worried that is this being funded realistically by Aprilia and uh, Dorna with a little bit of private sponsorship Trackhouse Racing in just to kind of give it the nudge in America, if you know what I mean, to to build the sport. But anyway, you know, this year, I think, is a very, very big year for boat riders, if I'm honest. And we will start with Raul Fernandez because, you know, look, I haven't been Raul's uh, biggest fan Um but I have said he's done well when he has done well. But I think this year is a really, really big year. To be honest, he did have a pretty crappy year last year. Not performing, throwing the toys out of the pram a small bit. He did do the odd good races, you know, using excuses that he had to use old equipment or whatever because RNF didn't have money. I get it. But again, it's not an excuse. You know, he was on a race winning bike from the previous year. He should have been hanging around the top 10 in majority of the races. Like a top 12 would have been a bad race weekend for him, in my honest opinion. He should have been pressing more and more. Um, for Miguel Oliveira, you know, it is a big year for him. Now, I genuinely believe he has a factory bike this season because that was a deal that Aprilia did to keep him in Aprilia rather than going to HRC. I think there could have been a, a two-year deal there if uh, Oliveira pressed for it. Marini got it. If you can imagine, they would have taken Oliveira over Marini for sure. But anyway, he will have the factory bike. Let's just hope he doesn't have a season this season like he had in the last season where... You know, he was running around the place with a target on his back and everyone seemed to be pretty accurate in hitting him. Um, and of course, he sustained an awful lot of injuries. And again, look, it is just it's just not the way you wanted his season to go. You know, he left KTM you know, with uh, bright ideas for a brilliant show. Let's just say this season hurt him quite a lot. I have no doubt in that. He has the factory bike. Raul will be on a 2023 chassis with a 2024 engine. And Aprilia have said that they will give uh, Raul a a factory or a full factory bike at some point in the season. I find this very, very difficult to understand because if they're giving him the 2024 engine, what's the problem in giving him a 2024 chassis and running a full factory bike? compared to that i don't believe for a second there's a problem with parts or they won't get a chassis or a, another chassis manufactured in time for him you know yes they are they are still using the aluminium chassis so it's not the carbon chassis that they're using so i don't see the issue with a problem or cost um and it's definitely something i'd love to see revolta pushed on why is he only getting that remember both riders are on Aprilia contracts, so I just find it a little bit weird. Is it that Aprilia are waiting for Raul to prove himself before investing any money into him? But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What did you think of the Trackhouse Racing launch? And what do you think of the two riders' fortunes will be during the 2024 season? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.